This is Matthew Brabham, an American who was born in? Boca Raton, Florida. Boca Raton, Florida. His family, yes, the famous Brabham family from Australia. We understand all that. But he's he's visited Australia this winter and, and chased women, but he's an American. And a few years ago, when you were coming up the ladder system, winning everything, we're thinking, this is great. Another generation of Brabham, and he's going to be an IndyCar star by the time he's 23. And it's the same old deal. No matter how good you are, it still takes money. And thankfully, Crusher, our pal, got you a sponsor. So you're going to be at least at the Indy 500 for KV. But was there a time that you just thought, okay, I've won it every series. I'm, what am I supposed to do next? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think every driver goes through the same thing. Uh, you can doesn't. I, I'm, the one thing I'm learning now, and, and I wish I knew this before I kind of like really got into into racing and started doing the USF 2000 stuff. And, and it's really it doesn't matter how much you win you can win every single series the whole way up you can win every race you've ever been in your whole life and be the most talented driver out there but at the end of the day it still doesn't get you a ride in, in a professional category whether it's formula one indy car you know sports car and it's getting worse and worse every day so uh yeah it's definitely definitely tough times you know, there's a lot of drivers the same as me you know connor he's had a tough time as recently so you know everyone knows about it it's just about trying to figure out a way to get around it and you know obviously crusher brett murray He's done a great job of, um, you know, just trying to do something different, get some new media programs, get people interested in different ways. And, you know, obviously he's got, you know, Pertech behind us and a great sponsor. So, yeah, hopefully we can uh, do a good job for them and get them into the sport and, you know, get people interested and get new, new people interested in the sport and, and just keep it building and keep it going and stay in for as long as possible. But it's kind of interesting. You, you, you were, you're just a kid, so of course you're a little naive, but you're thinking, man, if I win races, that's that was good enough for my grandpa and good enough for my dad, I'm going to get a ride. I think my dad was thinking that too a little bit. You know, as he come from the era, my dad, whole whole career, and you know, never had to find a sponsor. He was always a hired driver. So for him, it was, it was a brand new thing. And I think, you know, if you're a young kid, you're getting into racing, you can't really expect, you know, those 16, 17 year old kids that have a lot of talent, talent that are winning everything to all of a sudden become a high level business person <laughs> and start talking to massive companies and have these great sponsor projects and things going on. Like it just doesn't happen. And I think, you know, that's something that my family wasn't so good at. Yeah, Brabham's we're great races on the track and we have a lot of great advice to give each other, whether it's, you know, just giving each other, you know, stick or, you know, you know, actually giving each other strong advice from the family to family. But yeah, we're not that great business people and you know we're working hard and we're trying to adapt but it's it's a it's a tough tough road do you think and, and god like last year when you tested a stock car it, it was a dagger in our hearts we're like no no not another good american kid going to stock car racing we got to keep an open wheel but you have to explore your options i mean sports car whatever it is because you want to be a professional race driver and you can't you know you can't do anything for free absolutely i mean at the end of the day i just want to drive anything i can it gets boring sitting at home watching races on tv i just sat this weekend watching the they turn a five they day turn a 24 hour on tv and you know it's just just sucks as a driver it's watch, there's nothing worse everyone says the same thing but um yeah i mean you just you just want to drive i you know i was driving late model cars super truck races just anything i can get into like i'm even starting to get the itch to just go higher go karting every weekend now too because anything to get into a car and stay racing i mean it's just not like the old days i'm kind of jealous all those guys just race every weekend doesn't matter what it was but uh you know i'd, I'd love to do that myself but it's just just tough yeah i mean uh, we'll see how it goes but you know, i'm willing to drive anything <laughs> The good news is, though, in this program, it's going to be both races in May. The road course, which obviously you grew up on road courses, and 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 the Indy 500, the 100th Indy 500. Does is Brett's long-term plan? Let's get this this sponsor to maybe try, try and get you to full time. Absolutely, yeah. That's that's our long-term goal. You know, the main goal is to get in as long as possible, get in full time, do as many races as possible. And uh, I guess if it all, you know, in an ideal world, if it all went well, in the month of May. Andy's List Grand Prix, the Indy 500, it all went really well, got some great results, got a lot of people interested, got some hype building around it, then hopefully we can finish off the rest of the season. So that's what we're kind of looking at doing. It's not set in stone, we've just got the two races at the moment, but you know, we're, we're always looking for partners, we're always looking at opportunities, you know, media events, things that we can drag, you know, things that we can make exciting and, and get people interested in and, and finish off the year. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping and yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to getting in the race. To give, give them a sponsor here. What do these people do? Uh, it's Pertec. So uh, Pertec have obviously uh, an Australian um, born company and they're just 
progressing into the US. It's kind of a franchise-based thing, and they do fluid transfer solutions. So um, there's one in Indy. They are, I just went and visited them the other day. So there's a couple popping up here and there, and they're going to start really uh, building you know, their brand in the US. I'm really looking forward to being on board with that, helping those guys come to the 100th running of the you know, 500 and build their brand around that and you know, really use it to kind of push, push them out into the market. Good. All right. Matthew Brabham, Matty Brabs, Florida-born, American, open-wheel driver, a little badass. Hopefully he's going to get better and get some more chances. Thanks for watching. Send the money to me. I'll give it to him. Robin Miller for Racer.com.